Hi everyone, I made a mistake. Not easy, right, for you to admit this. But guess what? The world's greatest investor, that is actually Warren Buffett, actually said that. In fact, he actually made a huge, huge loss on Berkshire Airline stocks when he disposed of it, realizing four billion in terms of losses. Now, if anything, I think this is a very good learning experience because I think what Warren Buffett has shown in executing his sell order, painful though it may be, it also suggests and tells us as savvy and a sagacious read investor, we must be always be aware of our positions and the best way to multiply your wealth is to get rid of all those reads that are rotten apples in our portfolio. If anything, the ability to realize your losses, cut your losses before the dynamics of a particular read or a particular industry gets worse is and should be the case of a good and smart read investor. Now, the second thing that we want to highlight is uh, this trait is something that we have been teaching. And guess what? You know, if you haven't attended our classes, you can actually get a copy of our book now at Kinokuniya and a bookstore, as well as the other bookstores. You know, if you want to go online, you can go go Guru and Amazon to buy my book, which is already out in the market in Malaysia and China and, and, and Thailand. It will be available by Chinese New Year. And you know what? Before the book was even published, the biggest in, uh, publisher in China, that Citic Press, have already approached us. And I think my publisher is working out with them for a publication by in Mandarin in China for the Chinese market by middle of next year. You know. So other than what we have been enumerating in our books, you know, one of the other key things if you notice just recently, um, as again highlighted in my recent article, if you had actually invested in the placements of three good reads, you know, that's FCT, MCT, and the Sanders Street. You notice that, you know, many of the uh, family offices, uh, big institutional funds, and high net worth individuals took the placements at the respective placement price. But at, this, at the end of November, based on these prices, you notice that all of them are suffering a loss. Okay, now as at the time of recording as of today, only Fraser Center Point Trust have risen beyond 3,235. The other two are still below the placement prices. Now, bear in mind, ladies and gentlemen, as highlighted in my article, all three are good reads, but for the sharp read investor, the key thing is to buy these good reads at discounted at prices that are favorable to you for the sharp and savvy investor. And really, you know, when to buy and what is a good price to buy and also to make money on the, on the uh, private placements and rights issue, this is something that we hold dear to our heart. And this is what we will be covering in our upcoming class. The first class for the year, this is actually on the 9th of January. So do sign up and and uh, get our early special because these are the few topics that we will be covering. You know, uh, you notice, ladies and gentlemen, having made money in REITs, I think essentially what is key that we realize over the years is that you must be able to know when to buy and when to position in a big way for the best returns, you know, and you don't need to do it, do it all the time. You don't need to trade every other time. You can just position at the beginning of the year, but making sure that you have the right rates in the portfolio, and that's what we are there to guide you in our classes. Now, as I've said in my key points here, REITs for the coming year will resume what they have been doing, you know, in 2018 and 2019, and just after the COVID-19 in 2020, that is, they are going to go on a binge of acquisitions. How do you know which acquisitions will do well? But more importantly, most of these acquisitions will be financed by rights issue as well as private placement. And from the earlier slide that I've shown to you, you know, not all placement, even of good reads, 
you know, if you take them, you know, you can still lose money. Granted, you know, that most of the banks, you know, do charge you a minimum placement fee of $100, you know, and plus the brokerage fee, which is normally higher than the brokerage fee that you pay for trading stocks and REITs, you know. So it is very important that for this gentleman to recognize and to know when REITs are a bargain. Sometimes it does not mean that because the placement was at a discount. It is actually at a good price to the savvy and the sharp investor. It does not. Okay, so in our class, this is what we'll be covering it. So do sign up quickly for our early bird special. Just either use the code here via pay by pay now or go to our website and pay by credit card. And guess what? You know, because next year, you know, as highlighted in my book, you know, the China read market. You know, it's going to be a huge market. And I've actually invited my very good friend, Mr. Fred Wang. Now, Mr. Fred Wang is the Secretary General of the China REIT Alliance to be our guest speaker for our 9th of January class, where he will touch on the latest developments on what's hot in the China REIT market. If you do read my book, you know, and, and uh, if you still have some time before the year is out, to quick and go and get a good one now as well. I think it's a good present for many of your friends and family members. You know, you notice that in my book I've highlighted, I've highlighted that the China read market is one area that you, the sagacious read investor, should be watching out for as much as making money in our Singapore read market. So do join us for our first night of our January class and do get my books on the newsstands. Send Essentially, other than knowing what's hot in Singapore and what's hot in China, Happy New Year to everybody. Cheers!